Hello, everyone. This is Paul from Hi-Fi Man. We have some friends at the first time to install and use the Mercedes Angel screen. You need to make some basic setting. Only that the Angel screen can run well. In this video, I will show you six basic setup for the Android screen. Now let's go. The first setting is the cam protocol setting. This is the first and the most important setting. Go to setting, battery, cam protocol. On the right side. They have list different NTG ties. You need to choose the correct one based on your car model. For example, this head unit is NTG 4.5, so I chose 4.5. If you may wrong for this setting, some factory functions will not work. For example, the controller might not work in the OEM menu. The Backup camera might not work. Steering wheel control might not work. And here, in the dashboard menu here, they have no data. If you may wrong for the CAN protocol setting, for this car, the OEM backup camera is not work because the CAN protocol is wrong for the settings. This car should be NTG. 5.1, but it's set to 5.0. This mistake. But if you find that's wrong, how to change the CAN protocol setting? Choose it. Uh, for example, I chose anyone. Choose it and click OK. And then wait about 13 seconds. Then power off the car. Lock the door. And wait about two or three minutes. Then power on the car again. Why to do this? Because when you change the can setting here, it need to restart the can system. Now we're talking about car display setting. Car display setting is enable original menu showing on the and your screen correctly. For example, this model here. This a uh, small screen, right? I chose Pell NDG 4.5, 5.8 OEM screen. That is half screen. That way I can see the menu here correctly. Ah, here you can see. They show correctly, but if I chose another setting, that is mistake. For example, I chose another options to see how it work. I want to chose this to test how it work. Okay. You can see they are wrong car display setting, so it not work. So I need to choose choose this. This is my head unit. Okay, here. Yeah. That way it will show correctly. Okay. In this part, I want to show you how to set the sound setting. We can go to OEM menu first. You can see the audio is the first one, right? One, two, three. This is the first one. And then we can take a look. Here you can see the IUX here. One, two, three, four. That is four. That means this is the one IUX in the four. Here, one, two, three, four, right? So we go to setting 
Yeah. Sextant. IUX position. So I need to set the IUX position as one because in the first one is here. And the second, you can see IUX position two. I need to set to four. Here, one and four. Okay. So I can play the audio. You can see, it has the sound, right? The sound setting is different when the car is NTG 5.0 and 5.1. Uh, we go to the original. Now we can see in the original menu, the media in the third here. Radio is the first one. Second one is the telephone. Media. The USB is media. Now it is in free. So uh, we just made a setting sixteen IUX position. The first one IUX position one. We should in the free here. Then we'll be okay. Now for this car, the air conditioner is running now. When go to Android menu and play the music. Then it will pop out the air conditioner is turned off because the IUX is wrong for the setting. Some friends uh, from US or UK might want to know how to set the unit from KMH to MPH. Uh, how to change this? Now let me show you. Uh, go to sixth battery. Unit selection here. Function unit selection. And you can choose this here. Then we'll be okay. You can see MPH. It have changed. Now we're talking about the microphone setting. This model built-in microphone. So we go to the factory. And MIC is microphone. MIC gate is microphone gate. Normally it's set to 18 or uh, for example 15 also okay. Uh, normally we set like this. That's very important. If you set like this, it no sound when you made the calls. Uh, no sound at all. Other people cannot hear you uh, if you set like this. This is the first step. Go to factory and change the microphone gate. And you also notice uh, you go to vehicle here. There's a setting to choose built-in and external microphone. We also set to as built-in, okay? If you want to use the built-in microphone, this is the second. The first is when you use the CarPlay, uh, let me show you. The Z-Link is the app for the CarPlay, right? Click it. Click the setting icon. In here, you can see microphone loom back. Many people change this setting. They change to right or left. That is totally wrong. You should change to none. Only this. Then will be fine. If you chose right, it will have noise when you make the phone calls. But if you want to use the external microphone, uh, in fact, it just need to go to factory. and choose the vehicle here and change here to external microphone uh, external and connect the external microphone then we'll be okay now we're talking about the backup camera some friends have the original backup camera how to make the setting 
or the camera. Next setting, next section, then camera selection. Here you should choose OEM camera. OEM means original camera. This is the very important. And some friends do that, but OEM backup camera still not work. How to do it? You should take a look the CAN protocol setting. As I mentioned, CAN protocol setting. You need to choose the correct one based on your car ties. If not, it will not work. This is the second. The first, if you do that, it also not work. You can take a look. Uh, uh, gear selection. Gear selection here. Some cars is old cars. There is a manual transmission. In that case, you need to choose gear type 2 or gear type 3. Uh, here or here. And restart the unit. This car can take the manual transmission. When in the Android side, the OEM backup camera is not work. But when in OEM menu, the backup camera is working. Some friends install aftermarket backup camera. The first thing is go to setting. Sixth, camera selection and choose aftermarket backup camera. This is the first step. And the second step is you go to the factory. In here, IHD camera selection. Some friends install the IHD camera. In that case, you need to choose these options. Uh, only then it can work. If you install the CVBS camera, you should choose this or this. The third, you should go to vehicle and change the gear type, gear 2 or gear 3, if your car is manual gear.